Suppose we have a circle whose center has coordinates A, B. The X coordinate would be A, and the Y coordinate would be B. And suppose we have a random point on the circumference called P. We could draw a radius from the center of the circle to P. Let's label the X coordinate of P as X and the Y coordinate Y. We will draw a red right-angled triangle inside the circle. The length of the base would be the difference of the two X coordinates, that's X minus A, while the height of the triangle would be the difference of the two Y coordinates, that's Y minus B. If we apply Pythagoras' theorem to this triangle, the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides, X minus A square plus y minus b square is equal to the hypotenuse r square. This represents the general form for the equation of a circle where the center of the circle is a, b, and the radius is r. Questions on this topic can come in one of two forms. You may be given the center and radius of a circle and asked to derive its equation, or you may be given the equation of a circle and ask to determine its center and radius. In this example, we are given the center and the radius and asked to find the equation of the circle. So A is two and B is minus one. Substitute the values of A and B into the general form and we get X minus two square plus Y minus negative one square equal to the radius three squared. The double negative gives us positive 1, and 3 square is 9. In this example, we are given the equation and asked to determine the center and the radius. Notice the equation is not in the standard form, so we need to rearrange the equation. First, we need to group the terms in x separate from the terms in y. Also group the constants on the right. Let's complete the square for the terms in x. Form brackets with a square at the top right. Inside the brackets, place x, then half of the x, coefficient minus six, which is minus three. Outside the brackets, subtract the square of the constant inside. The square of the constant inside is nine, so we subtract nine. What we just did was rewrite the original expression so if you expand the brackets and subtract nine, you'll get the original expression, x squared minus six x. Now let's rewrite the terms in y. Again, we form brackets with a square to the top right. Inside the brackets, put y, then half of the y coefficient, which is positive four. Outside the brackets, we subtract the square of the constant that's inside, the square of four, is 16, so we subtract 16 to complete the rewriting of the original terms in y. Next, we group all the constants 16 and 9 with 39 on the right to get 64. If we compare this with the general form, on the left, minus a equal minus 3, so a equal 3. In the second bracket, minus b equal 4, so b equal minus four. So the center is positive three for the x coordinate and negative four for the y coordinate. Compare the terms on the right and we get r square equals 64, which means that r is the square root of 64, that's eight units. To find the equation of the tangent to a circle, we need to know the coordinates of the center. So let's rewrite the equation of the circle in its standard form. First, we need to group the terms in x. The coefficient of x square and y square must be one, so we divide all the terms on both sides of the equation by three. Let's complete the square for the terms in x. Inside the brackets, put x, then half of the x coefficient, which is minus one. Outside the brackets, subtract the square of the constant inside. The square of one is one. 
so we subtract 1. For the terms in y, inside the brackets, put y, then half of the y coefficient, which is positive 2. Outside the brackets, subtract the square of the constant inside. The square of 2 is 4, so we subtract 4. Group minus 4 and minus 1 on the right, and we get positive 5. That means the radius will be the square root of 5, since r square is 5. However, what we really need is the centre, so just change the signs of the numbers in the bracket and get the centre of the circle to be 1, negative 2. Let's do a sketch of the problem. Here is the centre of the circle. The point P, 0 minus 4, lies on the circumference, and we can draw a radius from the centre to the point P. Let's draw the tangent. A tangent to a circle is a line that touches the circle at exactly one point. In this case, that point is P. Additionally, the tangent is perpendicular to the radius, which makes the radius a normal. The normal to a circle is a line segment that is at a right angle to the tangent line and passes through the center of the circle. So the radius will always represent the normal. So finding the equation of the radius is the same as finding the equation of the normal. To find the equation, we need to know its gradient. The gradient of the normal or radius is m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Substitute the respective values into the formula and we get the gradient of the normal to be 2 over 1. Now the gradient of the tangent is the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the normal, since the tangent and the normal are perpendicular to each other, so the gradient of the tangent would be negative a half. The equation of any straight line can be formed using this formula. In the formula x1 and y1 can be any point on the line. The point P lies on both the tangent and the normal, so we'll substitute 0 and minus 4 for both x1 and y1 respectively. Let's find the equation of the tangent. The gradient of the tangent is negative half, so we replace m with negative 1 over 2 on the left. On the right, replace y1 with, with negative 4 and replace x1 with 0. So we get negative half equal y plus 4 over x. Cross multiply and we get 2 times y plus 4 equal minus 1 times x. Expand the brackets and we get 2y plus 8 equal minus x. That's the equation of the tangent. If you wish, you can group all the terms on the left to get 2y plus x plus 8 equals 0, or any other equation that's equivalent. Now let's find the equation of the normal. The gradient of the normal is 2, so we replace m with 2 over 1 on the left. On the right, the point is the same p, so we replace y1 with, with negative 4, and replace x1 with 0, as we did before. So we get 2 over 1, equal y plus 4 over x. Cross multiply, and we get 1 times y plus 4, equal 2 times x. So y plus 4, equal 2x. Or we could transpose for y, to get y equals 2x minus 4. Or, we could rearrange the equation to anything equivalent. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.